Mr. Colin here from Coil Maths. Today we're going to be looking at how to calculate arc length. Now that will be looking at fractions of a circle instead of a full circle and working out the bit of a circle on the perimeter, the circumference, which would be part of that fraction of a circle. So it's just looking at that and we're going to look at a few examples of how to do that. First thing we're going to do is just do a small task. So your first task says try this. We have got a full circle here of a circumference of 60 centimetres. All of these are the same size circle and all you have to do is try and estimate the length of the bold lines just by taking a guess of what fraction of the circle it would be and therefore how big those bits are. Pause the video here and we'll come back in a few minutes to see how you got on. Okay, so back to this one, we can see here with the first one, if you just highlight it, you put one, if you did another one, you would probably get two, three, probably about four of them in that circle. So if we're saying four of them, a quarter of 60 would be 15 centimetres for the first one. For the second one, you should be able to see that you've got one, maybe another two would be in there. So three of them would make the whole circle. So maybe a third, which would be about 20 centimetres. And remember, this is just an estimate. So it's just a roundabout, getting a feel for how, what fraction of the circle this is. Looking at the one underneath, it's quite clear that that's about half of the circle. So it's a half of 60, which would be about 30 centimetres. This one here, I would say you've got, there's your half and then an extra quarter, so three quarters of the circle. We already know that one quarter is 15, so three quarters would be 45 centimetres. So this last one, you can see one, two of them would make a quarter, so you've probably got about eight in the whole thing. So 60 divided by eight is 7.5 centimetres. And again, it's just a feel, it's just an idea how big, how much of a fraction, because what we're really going to be looking at here is fractions of a circle. And if we can get what fraction it is exactly, we'll then be able to work out the circumference quite easily, the arc length. But if we can't do it exactly, then we'll need to work out exactly what fraction we've got and then maybe use a calculator. So we'll look at some examples that, that use both a calculator and a, not a calculator. So let's start connecting this up a little bit with angles. This is the same circle again, but this time we've cut it. So here you should be able to see that we've got a half of a circle, 180 degrees. So that's quite obvious that this one would be a half. This one here, you should be able to see that that's a quarter of a circle and notice in 90 degrees. The next one, you should be able to see that you've got three quarters of a circle. The sixth one is not as obvious what fraction of a circle that is but if you think how many 60s going to 360 you would get six so that must be a sixth of the circle 120 is double 60 so that's two sixths which is a third or three 120s is 360. 300 that's a little bit harder to think about but five 60s make 300 so it must be five of sixths because that one was a sixth, five sixes. And then 30 degrees, well, that's going to be half of this one. So it must be a 12, because a half of a sixth is a 12. Or to put it another way, 12 30s make 360, right? So if the circumference of a full circle is 60, can you work out the arc length? So you should now be able to do that from the fractions that we've just worked out by doing a fraction of 60, a half of 60, a quarter of 60, three quarters. If you want to give that a go, give it a go, but we're going to move on to the next stage. So hopefully by this point, you'll be happy with the idea that you can have a fraction of a circle. And you can happy with the idea that if you go all the way around the circle, you've got 360 degrees. The problem becomes then, what fraction do we make if we're given a certain angle. Now we set simple angles like 180 we get a half, 90 we get a quarter, but 72 doesn't obviously go into 360. It might, but we can simplify maybe. So here's how we do these questions from step one. We always work out our fraction and our fraction is always the angle we've got out of 360 which is a whole circle. And then we try and simplify that fraction. 
is a fifth. So 72 out of 360 is a fifth. 572s make 360. You could simplify that slower than that if you need to. So that means that the arc length, which we'll call AL, is just a fifth of the circumference, a, fa a fifth times pi times the diameter. So that would be a fifth times pi times, now the diameter, remember, is all the way across, so it's not five, it's 10. So it's a fifth times pi times 10. A fifth of 10 is two, so it must be two times pi, two pi. If this was a non-calculator question, you would leave your answer in, as ten, in terms of pi. So you would leave your answer as two pi. If it was a calculator question, you would get your calculator out and do two times pi, which is two times 3.14 which is 6.28 units. We'll call it centimetres for this question. We'll just say that each of these units was centimetres. Okay. So two pi centimetres or 6.28 centimetres to two decimal places. Now let's look at the second example. This time we've got 113 degrees. So we start off with a fraction our fraction is going to be 113 out of 360. Now that doesn't simplify easily, so this time we're just going to do the work in the calculator straight away and not leave our answer in terms of pi. So our arc length for this question is going to be 113 out of 360 times pi times 10, because the diameter is still 10. But this time we'll get a calculator. So we do 113 divided by 360 times, now if you had a pi button here, you press pi, but if you don't have a pi button, 3.14 times 10. So leave my answer to two decimal places, 9.86 would be my answer. 9.86 centimetres. And there we are. Let's look at a few more examples. So the first example on the left hand side, we have to work at the arc length of these sectors. So our fraction, we've got 102 out of 360. So the arc length is just 102 out of 360 times pi times, careful now it's not six, it's 12 because this, remember, is the radius middle to outside, so I need to double it to get the diameter of 12. Because pi times diameter, remember, was circumference from previous work. So once again, using a calculator for this one, we could try and simplify that fraction and do some work. But unless the question specifically says, leave your answer in terms of pi, you just get your calculator. And you do the work there, 102 divided by 360 times pi, which is 3.14, times 12, which is 10.68 centimetres. So example two, let's look at our fraction first of all. Our fraction is going to be just 220 out of 360. Now, if we're going to leave our answer in terms of pi, we would simplify it. But if we're not going to leave our answer in terms of pi, there's going to be no point. So we'll just go straight into the arc length, which is 220 out of 360. Fraction times pi times the diameter, which in this case would be 16, double eight. And I'll just get my handy calculator to help me work out the answer. So we've got 220 divided by... 360 times pi times 16 and we get a nice answer of 30.70 centimetres. Just a little note, if you're using a calculator and you use the pi button, your answer will be slightly higher than if you use 3.14. Okay, let's go into some work for you to try. So this says independent task. If the diameter of a full circle is 240 millimetres, find the arc length for the rest of the shapes in millimetres. 
So for question one, you have to do this in terms of pi. So go back in the video if you need to and look to see how you've simplified the fraction and just leave your answer as pi. Don't do the actual sum in the calculator. But for question two, for each of these arcs, use a calculator and find the answer correct to two decimal places. Pause the video here and then come back when you're finished. That's it, that, that's, that's today's video on arc length. Closely related to finding the circumference of a circle. Pretty simple stuff, if you understand that you just find a fraction of a circle, you're good to go. We recap that a circle is 360 degrees, or we recap that to get the fraction is always angle at 360 degrees. Stay safe, take care, bye bye.